Okay, check this out. I played that one perfect. 12.15. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. So the bus will be coming from this way. And I ate my lunch at 11 o'clock. Got on a bus, came over here. I'm going to show you some clips of the beautiful water. And uh, show you what God has created in Split Croatia. Very beautiful. But um, I'm glad I got back up here just in time because I would have had to... Well, it would have came at 1. That would have been 45 more minutes. But uh, I'm glad I get to catch this bus because I've got other things I want to do today. On the float, just threw this dog a toy. And now the little dog's going back with it. How cool is that? Okay. This is actually the part of the beach where um, dogs are allowed to swim. So cool. I'm going to share a testimony with you on the rest of this video. I've only been down here about 20 minutes, but I figure since I was here, I might as well come down here and check it out, or I'll regret it. As a missionary, you've got two choices. Enjoy your life and not worry about what your critics are going to say, or not do something because of what your critics will say. You have two choices. You cannot go to Split Croatia Beach because the critics may get mad. Or you can just go. It's up to you. God made this. God made this. So I made the decision to go. You know, every once in a while I'll make a video just for my critics. I've made uh, videos in Cancun to make my critics mad. I've made vid videos in Bali, Indonesia, me doing it Cannonball at a four-star hotel that was like 25 bucks. Yeah, it was cheap. Bali, Indonesia is cheap. So I've done all these things because you're always, always going to have critics. And you only have one life, and if you're already in a beautiful country with a beach five minutes away by bus. Just go. So here is Split Croatia. If you wonder what it looks like here, very, very clear water. Oh man, that feels good. What a great view. You can see right through the water. Ah, oh, that feels good. So, I went to the grocery store because the, the owners were gone and I was going to make my morning smoothie. And the next thing I know, he wasn't there. So, I said, well, I'll just go get some groceries okay, get a pineapple for for my smoothie and I ended up talking to this guy from Australia oh, that water feels so good and he was hung over I mean really hung over like his, his shirt wasn't even buttoned and his hair was all messed up so I started talking to him because he was buying a water and I bought a water too both went to the deli and bought stuff from the deli. He was prodigal. He was backslid and his parents were uh, Christians. And um, I said, please tell your parents that uh, God sent you a preacher this morning, okay? I said, you don't have to live this way. You can live, with, for, you can live for Jesus. You don't have to uh, keep getting drunk and spending that money. I said, I used to be an alcoholic. Jesus changed my life. So he really listened to me, and I said, uh, you need to repent. 
you know, you could you could die in your sins, and then you would go to hell. And he said, my parents tell me this. So I knew they weren't Catholics. They were real born-again Christians after he said, I said, well, you need to tell them that God sent you uh, a preacher. Because all the time we're praying for people, right? We're always praying for people, but we don't always see the fruit of our prayers. We don't know. I hope I don't fall in. My passport is in this bag. Uh, we don't always see the fruit of our prayers. Like, what is God doing? What is God doing? Because I know there's a few people I've been praying for for a while. And I'm like, God, what's going on with that person? You know, family members or whatever. And so you don't always know. But uh, be faithful in prayer. You know, Jesus said, pray without ceasing. Well, that's another scripture, pray without ceasing. But Jesus told the story about the persistent widow. So I don't want to get the two uh, passages mixed up. This water is so, so clear. Look at this. Fantastic. So this is uh, not the nude beach. Croatia has nude beaches. So when I hear that there's a beach in this town, it's like, oh, I'm hesitant. But it was very cheap for me to come here by bus. And after I talked to the guy from Australia, I, I saw what a beautiful day it was. It was supposed to rain all day. And I was like, you know, it's a gorgeous day. I'm going to go over and check out the, the beach. And I'm so glad I did. So pretty here. Yeah. I'm not going to completely swim, but I got uh, this much. <laughs> yeah. Feels good. These chairs out here are very, very expensive to sit in, so I'm not going to stay long. I'm just going to kind of walk around. Okay, God bless you from Sublit, Croatia. I go to um, Bosnia tomorrow. So this is waterproof swim balls. I did a video from Cancun, Mexico with the camera underwater, so it's kind of neat.